switching hats a little bit here. Um, Tambara, Tambara has, has worked at Bubba Gump's and marketing for many, many years. How many years now? Ten? No, seven. It's seven years. <laughs> yeah. It seems like ten. <laughs> I know. <laughs> um, and so you're there in the heart of Lahaina, of course. And um, I would like to, because we're going to be getting a call in a minute here, but I'd like you to lead into what it was like and what happened to you in Lahaina and what happened there, because you lost power as well as many, many people. But obviously there was a fire and a lot going on. So maybe you can give us a little backstory of what you went through. Sure. Well, um, you know, myself personally, I didn't have to go through much trials and tribulations, but um, we did have, I don't know if you saw the front page of the Maui News on Saturday, we had a part of our monkey pod tree fell on on our roof. But, um, you know, we're just so lucky that no one was hurt. Um, and so we got that cleared up and we were able to open for operations um, after the power came back on. But, you know, there's a lot of people that um, definitely um, are in need right now that lost their homes and and just to see the community coming together has been unbelievable and there's a lot of people get working together and and I know I think, I think you have your friend on the line here hello you're on the air live hi this is Kai Nishiki hi, hi Kai I'm so glad you called in uh, we'll get I'm I'm Tom Burris here I just got to get her set up with her headset so she can hear you there <laughs> oh. you are so, so you were very, very kind to call in. Actually, Tambra called you. Tambra just called you a couple of minutes before we went on the air. But uh, yes. I told her it's really high pressure phone call. <laughs> it was a high pressure <laughs> phone call, but but it's really important. So maybe you and 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 Tambra can, can can converse about what's going on and give people an up update about what's happening in Lahaina. Uh, okay. Well, I am down here at the Waiola Resource Hub at the Waiola Church on Waimea Street in Lahaina. And uh, we have turned into sort of a donation and distribution center for the needs of those affected by the fire. And uh, we have um, some needs uh, that we could request for people to bring in. Thank Um, you. Yes, I've seen we, pictures. It's pretty amazing. There was just stacks and stacks and stacks of stuff. And I, Timber, you were there helping as well, volunteering, weren't you? Yes, right alongside Kai. I, I am her um, assistant. I like to say. So, so you <laughs> got you got a lot of people who wanted to help, but um, then you got a whole bunch of stuff. But now, what people need to know is what is really needed at this point, right? Yes, uh, we did get a lot of donations of clothing and uh, bedding and those are two items that we that we have so much of and we are so appreciative of our outpouring of love from our community Um, but we are we are just fine on those two items we don't need any of those Uh, but we really do need um, gift cards this really makes it easy uh, to provide families with the ability to go out and purchase things that they're going to have to throw away um, our other needs are generators. We need um, large family tents, um, building supplies for families to uh, put their houses back together. And then one of the biggest things, the needs that we're realizing right now, is cleaning supplies. A lot of people um, don't understand how difficult it is to clean up from smoke damage and all of the soot and ash that is uh, all over people's homes. And people are just kind of getting back into their homes and realizing um, the extent of how much work there is to do. And uh, on the Wyola Resource Hub Facebook page, there is a video showing people how to clean their homes from smoke damage. So that's why we're really asking for um, donations of gloves, any kind of gloves for cleaning, uh, N95 masks, and Simple Green, because those are the three things people really need to be able to uh, clean up their homes. Someone posted that when you're cleaning and put water on ash, it becomes acidic, and I never would have guessed that. You know, who would have guessed that 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 could happen? So I guess that's why you have to be very careful um, the way you clean ash up, right? Yes, and that's what the video explains, uh, how to properly clean up from from smoke damage and that, that ash it is. It's, it can be dangerous. And so there's a, there's a very detailed video. It's very simple. It's uh, just a couple minutes. You can, you can learn how to, 
properly clean up. Uh, and then there's a lot of people who don't really have or aren't able to handle cleaning up their house. So we have, um, you can come down here and sign up. We have a list and, that we are compiling of, there's hundreds of homes that need to be properly cleaned. Mm. And we are in the process of organizing cleaning crews mm. who will um, work off of our list. I heard this Saturday, help. possibly at 8.15 in the morning, if pe- people meet there, there might be a cleaning crew able to help it clean at 9.15. Is that correct? I I cannot, I don't really know if mm-hmm. that is uh, for sure, but mm-hmm. on Saturday, uh, September 1st, here at Wyola, we are going to have a rummage style uh, for free, though, and that's going to be 10 o'clock, all families who need um Anything, they can come down for their homes or for themselves. And then at 11 o'clock, we're opening it up to the public. And we would appreciate if anyone came down. You can get clothes for free. You can make uh, more donations. Uh, But that's going to be a big day of organizing. We'll also need some volunteers on that day if anyone wants to come down and help. But, uh, yeah, this resource hub here is being run by Jen Mather, uh, Tamara Pelton, and Maria Lynn. So and if some, anyone is affected, they can come down here from 9 to 5 every day, and we will help you uh, with whatever your needs are. So if someone Cleaning, wanted to... Uh, if someone backpack wanted, for your kids. Oh, good idea. If someone wanted to give you a gift card, Kai, uh, what's the best kind of gift card? Some people said, well, get a Home Depot one or something for building. But what do you suggest is the best kind of gift card to, to bring down? Well, we all all the stores that provide building materials are great. Um, any uh, like a Walmart, um, Walgreens, people mostly need things to clean their house. And then a, a lot of people are seeing that they're going to have to throw away all of their clothes and get rid of furniture. And so there's there's going to be a lot of needs as as people are getting back into their homes and, and seeing, assessing the damage and then seeing how to respond to that. So we are, we're just here to try and support everyone who is going back into their homes and saying, oh, my goodness, what a disaster, and feeling mm. overwhelmed. Mm-hmm. We're here to support you. So please come down. You can feel our love down here and yes. go back to your house with some cleaning supplies and maybe some assistance. I heard that there that there was, you know, any, a lot of people boarded up their storefronts and, I heard that um, a suggestion of bringing down the plywood panels if they, uh, you know, no longer are needed uh, to bring the plywood down for people to use to for rebuilding or things. Is that true or is that something you can't use? I think that is a really great idea of reusing uh, something that you no longer need and it will be greatly appreciated by the, by the, by the families who are rebuilding their homes. Here at Wyola Church, we're not set up to receive donations like that. Mm-hmm. But um, if people uh, contact us with uh, those donations, we can uh, make sure that they they can have. Uh, we'll put you in contact with the person who can receive those. Well, you know, we all know how wonderful. Um, I'm trying to think of the one that builds homes, and I'm getting a that that wonderful group that. Um, Builds homes. Oh, Habitat, Habitat for Humanity. Habitat, yes. I mean, yes, Habitat for Humanity. Um, I heard they may be helping people to rebuild their homes. Are they in the loop now? I also heard that. There are so, there are so many people uh, all working independently and um, with us as well. So whatever uh, we can't take care of, we are outsourcing because we people are calling us and saying, hey, here's my number. Yeah. If there's a need, uh, then... Um, please put us in contact. So we're we're kind of working as a liaison. So at this point, does everyone have power back or not? Yes, at this point, everyone has power. That's great. And do you need any uh, any particular kind of generators or anything like that? Are those needed still? Yes, we absolutely need uh, generators, uh, building supplies, large family tents. And, of course, like I said, cleaning supplies are our number one. Gloves, N95 masks, and Simple Green. Those, those are wonderful things. And, you know, I just I have to say it's been absolutely amazing watching 
Um, there's a couple of Facebook sites which are great. Which are the ones you recommend people to go to um, to really find out what's happening? Uh, the Wyola Resource Hub Facebook page is, is great. The uh, Lahaina Strong uh, fundraiser is also a good uh, page to check out. And then, of course, the Maui Fire Canberra, help me out. That's the uh, Maui Fire Relief. That's a group. So if you're not already in the group, just uh, request to be added, and, and one of the administrators of the group will add you. Yeah. And that's um, a really active, really dynamic um, yeah. Facebook page. And just know that a lot of times needs are posted on there, and the community is so responsive. You'll see a need posted, and it'll be taken care of within 20 to 20 minutes to an hour. It is just it's been unbelievable. Amazing. And I've heard they've raised over $100,000 on some of the, on the GoFundMe site. That, that Yeah, that's on the money. Lahaina Strong um, Facebook page. Um, that's organized by Jordan. And, uh, yeah, it's up to over uh, 100000 and she her goal is 150, And that's going to be equally distributed to all of the families that lost their homes. And the best way to give the gift cards would be because people may they, go where do I give it who do I give it to or how do I get to them so that's at Wyola Church so mm-hmm. they can either mail them there um, to attention Jen Mather or they can drop them off in person and then on these Facebook pages that we're talking about there's a lot of folks um, even from Kihei up country um, far as way uh, away as Hana that are sort of organizing um, their own pickups and deliveries so that not everyone has to drive all the way over to Lahaina so you can look on there, and then if you see one of your neighbors is going to be coming to Lahaina, you can give it to them, and then they can deliver to Wyola Church. Well, bless you for your work and, and Tambra for helping. And Kai, I mean, I know you've been working nonstop and all the volunteers and people. It's been an amazing story, um, truly amazing story of how people are willing to give and, and help in the situation. Yeah, not only from the community, but also from all of the chefs and restaurants um, across the island. Um, Betty McDonald has been organizing our lunches, so we're feeding all of the volunteers. Wow. At the beginning, we were feeding a lot of the families, you know, hot food, and, and we were kind of set up as a Red Cross shelter at Wyola Church. And now we're slowly transitioning, so we're feeding everyone who's helping and working and doing the cleaning and the labor and that sort of thing. And, I mean, she has done an incredible job of scheduling that so that we make sure that we don't have too much food but that we have enough food to make sure that everyone um, is taken care of in that regard and it's just so inspiring it is inspiring well kai i thank you very much i know it was very last minute kai but i really appreciate you calling and thank you so much yes uh no problem and like tamra said uh and tamra is amazing you are a rock star uh we met at the civic center uh and we just jumped in saw a need and started fulfilling it, making sure people got fed and had some clothes or whatever their their needs were. And then when we moved over to Wyola, we got even a little bit more organized. And now we have, we have a, 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 we're feeding 50 to 70 people every day. Wow. And this is all from the generosity and kindness shown to us by all of the wonderful resorts and all the great businesses businesses all the local businesses are are just coming out and signing up to provide lunch and dinners for the hundreds of people here who are working hard to rebuild our community wow. so it's Lahaina wonderful. strong we yes. are so we're so blessed maui strong Lahaina strong go you thank know. you dear <laughs> god bless you okay <laughs> thank you so much for calling in kai yes aloha aloha, aloha. aloha. thank you